Okay, so in this video, I'm going to take a look at solving a linear equation, but it's uh, quite a, a quite an advanced linear equation in the sense that uh, it still only has one variable, but there's fractions in it, a few fractions in it, and some brackets in it. So it's just a, a little bit of work to actually solve this equation. Uh, the order that I'm going to do things in and that I like to do uh, linear equations is I like to get rid of any fractions that I can, first of all, then I deal with the brackets, then I go and isolate unknowns and constants on either side of the equal sign, and then I solve for the unknown. Okay, so to get rid of these fractions here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply every term by the lowest common denominator, which in this case is 24. So that's the lowest common denominator of 4, 3 and 8. So I'm going to multiply 24 by x plus 3 over 4. I'm going to multiply 24 by a third. And x minus 5. And I'm going to multiply 24 by 2 and 3 eighths. Okay, so multiplying each term by 24 will get rid of the fractions um, and just make it that bit easier for us. Okay, so the way we actually get rid of the fractions is we say 4 into 4 is 1, 4 into 24 is 6. So what that leaves me with is 6 times x plus 3. No fraction. Over here, it's 24 times a third times x minus 5. Well, 24 times a third, a third of 24 is 8. So I have a minus there. It's minus 8 times x minus 5. And then over here, 24 times 2 and 3 eighths. Well, 24 times 2 and 3 eighths actually works out as 57. So now I have a linear equation without any fractions, which looks a hell of a lot nicer than what we started off with. Okay, step two, remove any brackets. So that's just multiplying these out. 6 by x is 6x. 6, 6 by 3 is 18. Minus 8x. Minus by minus is a plus, so that's plus 40. Equals 57. Now I want to isolate... Uh, the x is on one side, the number is on the other. So I'm going to take 18 from both sides and I'm going to take 40 from both sides also. So on the left hand side, I'm going to be left with 6x minus 8x, which is just minus 2x. No constants left. 57 minus 18 minus 40 works out to be minus 1. So I have minus 2x is equal to minus 1. I divide both sides by minus 2. And I end up getting x is equal to a half. Okay, so just to recap, the order that I like to do things in is, first of all, remove any fractions that I can. Then once I have that done, I remove any brackets uh, by multiplying out. Then it's just a case of getting variables to, or unknowns to one side and uh, constants to the other side and solving as normal. Okay, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below and I'll see you next time.